Good evening, everybody. This is meteorologist Ryan Munn. We had a bit of a tricky day today with the rain and the sun and the clouds going in and out throughout the afternoon. But we are starting to dry out and we are going to continue to dry out as we head through the overnight period. It will be on the cool side though, so if you are heading out tomorrow morning, you may want to grab that coat on the way out the door. Temperatures drop back to the upper 30s to right around 40 degrees across the state. And look at your forecast for tomorrow. We'll see partly cloudy skies. You'll notice the wind pick up as well, especially as the later you get in the afternoon. Temperatures only in the low to mid 50s, so you add on a 20 to 30 mile per hour northwest wind. It probably feels like the mid to upper 40s throughout the day tomorrow. So will be on the cool side, isolated PM shower possible as well. Hour by hour forecast shows that we do dry out for tonight, but notice those numbers in the upper 30s to near 40 degrees. And then we finally climb into the upper 40s and lower 50s for the afternoon. But then also notice a quick shower possible in a few towns. I do not think it's going to be as widespread today, nor will it be as heavy as some of these showers were today. And then we do dry out once again for Sunday night. A look at your eight day forecast on, on Monday. We'll see a dry day, but then rain will develop more like showers. I should say later in the evening and at night. This continues into early on Tuesday morning before we do dry out and it will be a nice day for Tuesday. And then Wednesday we're mainly dry during the morning. Bit cooler though temperatures near 60 degrees. And then Wednesday night and Thursday night we will run the risk for some scattered showers. Does not look like a washout. And then Friday, Saturday, we're mainly dry before more showers move in for the day Sunday. That's the latest look at the forecast. Have a great night.